What's going on, Dolph fans? It is your boy, Dylan, and I got some news for you, a little bit of college football news, uh, and then a little bit of um, Dolphins news regarding uh, the Wednesday um, injury report. We're going to start with the, uh, the college football news, though, uh, because as Yahoo Sports is reporting, Penn State halts activities for multiple teams after 48 positive COVID-19 tests. Multiple Penn State athletic programs have been put on pause after 48 student athletes tested positive for COVID-19, the school revealed on Wednesday. The positive results came out of 920 tests administered, administered between August 31st and September 4th, good for a 5% positivity rate per Penn State. Only one student athlete had tested positive for the coronavirus in the previous testing period between 20, August 24th and August 28th. Penn State did not specify which programs were paused in its announcement, only saying that it was initiating contact tracing and did not believe the virus was transmitted at practice or workouts. According to rivals Nate Bauer, the Nittany Lions football and men's basketball teams are not among the afflicted programs from Penn State. We'll see how that how long that lasts. Uh, hopefully they can contain it and it doesn't, uh, you know, spread and become worse. But this just goes to show you that you know, I mean, it's near impossible impossible to be able to, you know, control. Uh, all student athletes that have tested positive are being isolated for 14 days, plus any individuals who have been in close contact with them. In total, Penn State has reportedly found 433 cases on its University Park campus since testing began. And, uh, you know, uh, you should fully expect to, unfortunately, have more. The longer that they're going to have you know programs open the longer that they're gonna have I don't know if they're doing like in-person classes but if they are that's obviously uh, you know an issue so you know um, it's it's concerning I mean like I've said multiple times to this point I think it's total crap because uh, I mean it's definitely more so with the NFL, but football in particular for a lot of these schools, uh, it depends. Some schools it's basketball, but a lot of these schools, that's where their money comes from, right? And these, these, the athletes, they don't really get paid, um, but they bring in tons and tons of money to the school, right? So it's just, anyway, like there's, there's more important things than just, you know, money anyway so uh real quick i want to give you the um dolphins that were listed on the injury report apparently wednesday uh this is coming from nfl the nfl app uh miami dolphins cornerback Xavier howard and byron jones are apparently both on the injury report which is fabulous not really and Xavier howard has a knee uh issue going on surprise there not really and byron jones apparently with an achilles uh issue so that's not good going into the season and then wide receiver Devonte parker has a hamstring issue and all three of those guys were limited at practice so that doesn't spell very good things going forward for the dolphins right out of the gate going into their week one matchup against the new england patriots but we'll see how it plays out Obviously, we'll keep an eye on, you know, their status for the remainder of the week. And then on Sunday, we will find out. Well, Saturday, we'll likely find out who, uh, it, you know, if they're going to be um, out. Although, depending on what their designation is on Friday also could be telling. But anyway, either way, um, we'll see over the course of the rest of the week and um, find out Sunday. I will be doing a live stream. Obviously, I can't show the game, but I'll be doing a live stream with my uh, live commentary and so on and so forth for the game. So join me for that. It's going to uh, be interesting, and we'll see We'll see how it goes. I think it's going to be uh, a rough game overall for the Patriots, too, because, you know, the offseason's totally screwed up. I mean, they lost a ton of players to opt out, so... You know, there's definitely going to be sloppy football. Unfortunately, we're going to, you know, the expectation is, is there's probably going to be, you know, a significant amount of injuries uh, across the league, especially earlier on because of the, the offseason. So that'll be something to keep an eye out on. Um, 
But also, uh, for the Dolphins in particular, I honestly do not expect us to win this game. Uh, but, you know, we'll see. I mean, there are just so many different factors, and, and it's it's just so hard to, to uh, really predict anything this year. So we'll just have to wait and see. Anyway, with that, I'm going to get out of here. I hope you guys appreciate my perspective. If you do, make sure you hit the subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the bell if you want to get the alerts. Share my channel and videos with your friends and family. Leave your questions, comments, and concerns down in the comments section. Of course, as always, make sure you follow me on Twitter at Dylan Tartaro. And with that, I am out. I'll see you all soon. Fins up.